Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over the four most common mistakes that people make when taking the Security Plus exam. So I just passed the Security Plus exam a little bit over a month ago. And in today's video, I'm going to walk you guys through four mistakes I've made sure to avoid to pass the exam on my first try. If you guys find any value in this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. With that being said, if you also want to check out exactly how I studied for the Security Plus exam, I'll leave a link in the description below to a video that walks you through the entire process. With that being said though, let's go ahead and talk about the four mistakes that you need to avoid when taking the Security Plus exam. Mistake number one is going to be poor time management. One of the best ways to avoid this is to make sure that you have some form of strategy and you know exactly what questions to attack first when taking the Security Plus exam. So for me personally, when I was taking the exam I made sure that I was going to focus on the multiple choice questions first knock all of them out and then towards the end focus on the performance based questions so this means that when you're going through the multiple choice questions it's gonna be really important for you to answer the questions that you know that you're confident in and just go ahead and move on answer them and move on and maintain a consistent pace now if you run into any questions that you're not too sure about or you're unfamiliar with just go ahead and flag those questions and save them towards the end as well where you can take some more time and review them overall though you have 90 minutes to complete the entire exam so you're gonna have a lot of time to answer each of these questions so there's no reason to feel rushed or anxious just make sure you maintain a consistent and relatively quick pace so you have a lot of time left over to go over the pbqs and review any questions that you weren't sure about so for me personally when i was taking the exam i had about 30 to 40 minutes of extra time to go ahead and finish up the pbq questions but also had extra time to go ahead and review a uh, different multiple choice questions as well mistake number two is sort of branching off mistake number one but it's going to be overthinking questions and not reading questions carefully so when it comes to overthinking and wasting time on the exam one of the best ways to avoid this is to read the questions carefully when i was taking a security plus i saw a lot of questions that had extra fluff extra wording and extra sentences that really had nothing to do with the question that they're actually asking it's going to be so important for you when you're taking the exam is to avoid getting Getting confused by all these extra words and these extra sentences and really narrow it down and boil it down to exactly what this question is asking answer the question and then move on even though it's going to be so important for you guys to really analyze each of these questions make sure you don't overanalyze and second guess yourself because that leads to more time wasted this is one of the main reasons why it's so important for you to have a strong and thorough study routine and plan leading up to the security plus exam because of the fact that when you're answering these questions you'll be more confident and less prone to overthinking and wasting time on the exam mistake number three is going to be something relatively easy to avoid and that's going to be guessing without eliminating options a lot of times when you're taking exams and you run into questions that you have no idea what the answer is or what the question is asking you're kind of prone to just randomly guessing an answer but when you study for the security plus thoroughly a lot of times you can critically think your way through these questions or at least get into the ballpark of what the correct answer is and a lot of times when you're taking a security plus exam and you see the different answer choices some of them are not even remotely close to what the answer could be so it's going to be so important for you when you're taking these different uh, questions uh, to really eliminate the questions that are completely wrong and really boil it down to maybe two uh, uh, answers that would be potentially the correct answer so it's going to be really important for you to eliminate completely wrong answers and really think about what the answer could be and narrow it down to at least two potentially correct answers and from there you can go ahead and do your best educated guess and you already have a 50 50 chance of getting the answer correct one thing you might also notice when you're taking the security plus exam some of these questions uh, give you the answer to the previous question that you've seen on the exam before and some of them can give you hints because they involve similar subjects but some of these questions sort of intertwine and link with each other and some of them can give you hints or clues um, or maybe knowledge that you forgot about and help you answer a previous question or a question that you reviewed mistake number four and probably the biggest mistake that people make is that when you're studying for the security plus exam you're solely relying on memorization to answer your questions 
Memorization alone is not enough to help you pass the Security Plus exam. It's going to be so important for you throughout your entire study process to really understand and review the questions that you don't understand or any concepts or acronyms that you're unsure about. Make sure you really understand and really boil it down in your head to exactly what this means and how these different things work. So this can be avoided by taking thorough notes throughout your entire study process and also reviewing these notes consistently and then also putting these different things into practice by taking different practice exams and answering practice questions. If you answer any of these questions wrong, make sure you go ahead and review them and understand exactly why you got these questions wrong and understand the underlying meaning. Now, one bonus tip that I wanted to leave you guys with is on the day of the exam, when it's time to go ahead and go to the testing center, or when it's time to go ahead and do your, your at-home setup for the online proctor, before you go ahead and go into the exam, make sure you guys are calm, uh, cool, confident, and collected uh, going into the exam. And when you're answering these questions, it helps so much with the test or exam anxiety. It makes you calm down more, stay in the moment to really understand and comprehend these questions that they're asking you, uh, and really have a confidence in yourself and your ability and your knowledge. You've studied for a prolonged period of time. Uh, you got this, guys. And also, if you end up failing the exam, it's not the end of the world. As long as you try your best, you can always retake the exam if you need to. But I believe if you study for a solid amount of time, you stayed consistent throughout the entire process, anyone and everyone can pass the Security Plus exam if you really put the effort and the time into it. And I really believe in you guys, and I hope you guys pass the exam on your first try. With that being said though guys, if you found any value in this video, make sure to drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. With that being said though guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.